such as fuel efficiency, engine performance, maintenance costs, and road requirement. Cargo capacity must also consider in the design of the aircraft, not only aircraft that are cargo oriented, but cargo requirements on passenger road as well. Flight timing is scheduled for passenger convenience and some the destination do not entertain cargo whereas most of all cargo carries fly at night and to the destination that have a high number of export and Difference between the maximum fuel weight and the operating empty weight may be minimized by the weight of fuel needed for particular sector during the process of maximum payload determination and this is due to the factor of temperature, headwinds and other factors excluding the weight of baggage and passenger from the airport. But the challenge has been managed by the advancement of technology, which is automated system to make it easier to measure the weight. Pure Fractor is another network system, which are the aircraft carry only cargo, known as cargo-oriented aircraft. The network are depending on the demand of the cargo in various parts of the world which the operation is less than passenger network but it has developed much better and is growing over the years. Most of the freighters are following at night and being scheduled in accordance with the cheap shippers and also they have some restrictions in some airport due to the complaints of people living near the airport. That is why the design of the aircraft plays an important role in the cargo-oriented aircraft to reduce the number of sounds volume. Design for a freighter aircraft as the world of air cargo traffic increase. The future aircraft will be able to carry a higher amount of payload and should also be more fuel efficient. There are the super transporter freighters aircraft such as the Airbus, Beluga and Boeing Dreamliner. These aircraft are known for its ability to carry large amount of payload and also being used to carry the equipment and aircraft parts. The future aircraft also able to make a faster loading and unloading of cargo. The first one is direct operating cost. Direct operating costs are largely depend upon the type of aircraft in the fleet and how they are operate and so would change is if the fleet were change. Can be classified into flight operation which includes the flight crew salary, expenses, fuel and oil costs, equipment uh, rental costs, fuel insurance, uh, direct maintenance which includes cost of direct maintenance labor, maintenance material, contact maintenance, depreciation which includes cost of flight equipment such as airframes, engines equipment and space design parts. characteristic of aircraft payload, range, speed, crew size, fuel and oil consumption, factors input cost equipment including space like airframe, engines, labor, flight and maintenance, fuel and oil, insurance and what is indirect operating cost. Indirect operating cost independent of the composition of usage of an airline fleet. Cost that has no effect with the operation of an aircraft but is, it is another cost that support the operation of an aircraft. The costs which are generated from the traffic and sales and advertising. It cannot be directly linking to the aircraft operation. To reduce the labor cost by adding machine as there is a rise in the labor cost. Then also the labor become a fixed cost because a minimum number of manpower is required to keep the machine system running. Oh my, oh my, oh my.